Let's go to Proverbs 22 and 6. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. I know this is saying he, but this is talking about your daughters as well. So your sons and daughters. Or if you are their grandparents or adopted parents, same thing applies. So train up a child in the way he should go. So what you have to do is teach your child about God. Teach your child about the rules and regulations of the Bible. If you are not doing that, that is an issue. When I see a bad child, I don't blame the child. I blame the parents. Why do I say that? Now, kids are going to do whatever they can get away with. But as a parent, either an adopted parent or a grandparent, whatever type of parent, you have authority over that child. So, now in some cases, no. If your child is really acting up, like really bad, it is your fault. You are not properly teaching your child the right things. You are not. Because if that is not the case, well, you know, Kevin, I try to teach my child the right things, but they just want to do whatever they want to do. Okay, in that case, why aren't all the children that way? Obviously, there are some parents who are teaching their children how to behave. And you may say, well, you know, I am a single parent and I need help, so on and so on. Let me say this. And I am not trying to be mean or rude or whatever else. When you choose to not follow God's rules and regulations, that carries a curse. So let's say that you have a child or you have sex before a marriage. You know that is wrong, but you still do it anyways, then you get pregnant. Then the guy or the woman runs off. Usually the guy runs off. So whose fault is that? It is your fault. Why? Because you choose, you chose to do the wrong thing. And if you read the Bible, you are going to see that the Bible is telling us not to date, be around, or marry people who don't serve God. So if you are a woman or a man and the person that you married or dated was not serving God, but you chose to be with them anyways, and now that you are stuck with your child, whose fault is that? That is your fault. Because you chose to disobey God's word. I don't have any children. Now, I have done wrong things and I am surprised that I don't have any kids. <laughs> Thank God, or if I do have kids, I don't know anything about it but I don't have any children. Anyways, when you have a child, you have to teach your child about God. When your child gets older, from what this is saying, he will not depart from it. So he or she will not depart from it. So if your child is always misbehaving, really bad, no respect for 
for the elders and stuff like that, whose fault is that? That is your fault as a parent. You are not a good parent. And I am not trying to, like I said before, I am not trying to offend anyone. I am not trying to make anyone mad. I am just teaching what you should do. Train up a child in the way that he or she should go. And when he or she is old, he or she will not depart from it. So this is what the Bible is saying. So if you are not doing that, and your child is really, really bad, you can't say, I don't know what happened. What happened, you did not teach your child the right way on how to live. I pray that this makes sense. You have authority over your children. So what you need to change is your parenting. I pray that this makes sense. I am not trying to offend anyone. Not at all. We have to abide by the Bible. God bless.